Welcome back to Bits Be Trippin'. Now up next in this episode, we're gonna cover something that's been coming up on the forums quite a bit, and quite frankly in the comment section down below, about how do we engage that second PSU in some of these mining rigs. This is your host Carter, let's get into this. Now what we have here is we have that original thermal take 1200 that we had in just our last episode, and we went ahead and disconnected one of those R9-280X graphics cards and plugged it into a CX-750M Corsair. So you're probably wondering, how does this work? It's actually rather simple. That 24 pin connector there has one green wire. That one green wire essentially is pin out 16. Now pin 16 is the only one that's the PS on. That's what enables the power supply and what the motherboard bridges with the ground to say, go ahead and turn on. So by simply enabling that by taking a piece of metal, very archaic of way to do it, but quite frankly, you take a piece of metal, a small 20 gauge, 22 gauge, somewhere around there, and you connect that green wire with one of the black wires. Now the black wires obviously are ground. And we're gonna bring the camera in real close, get a real good shot of this connection and what you need to do. Now. For this purpose, we used a very small piece of metal, bent it kind of like a uh, staple, and then just put it in there. That way it had enough tension to hold against those two pieces. Now, on some of the other rigs, do the same kind of thing. Small little copper 22 gauge piece of wire, bend it like a U, put it in there, and then we'll use electrical tape and tape that off. That way it doesn't pop out or electrocute anybody. Now, obviously no crazy science going on here. As long as that green wire is paired up with a black wire, that enables the power supply to be turned on. You can mechanically control the on off of the power supply using the switch that's in the back of the power supplies next to the AC outlet connection. Now we think it's a good idea to go ahead and bring up the pin out table for the ATX 24 pin normal 12 volt connection. In this table, you'll see the orange, the black, the red, gray, purple, green, white, connections, what they are, what their description is, and just give you that knowledge of what we're dealing with here. Now, if we take a closer look at this second power supply, you can see the only connection that we're using on this right now is just the eight pin and the four pin PCI Express connector on that last graphics card. Now, the power supply we used was a CX750M from Corsair. That's a bronze 80 power supply. And all that really means, the bronze, silver, gold that you see is the efficiency. The efficiency of how it converts that AC to DC. For this particular power supply though, around 84, 85% efficiency is all we're gonna get out of it. First, we take a quick look at the kilowatt. 265 from the wall, uh, semi-okay efficiency, not too bad. Now, the settings were started off with 975 core, 1500 on the memory clock, a little adjustment on the power tune, and then 1.1 on the VDDC voltage. And we hold right there at that very stable mid, mid to high 600s. You see it bouncing into the 700s, but it really stabilizes around that 2.6 mega hash, which is indicative of about 680 uh, lock-in. And we take a, another shot of it and bump it up just a hair. 1050 core, get a little more on that, that kilowatt. I think it stabilizes right around 280 AC to the wall. And you know, we lock in at that 730, which is a real good number for these cards. Uh, the fastest we've seen them hold and stable are around that 741, 745 with these wind force gigabytes. But again, quick shot of the kilowatt showing about 280, roughly 80% efficiency, not too bad. Now, like any other mining rig or any other settings that you've done with a single PSU, these double PSUs are the same type of configuration management. You gotta set a setting, let it cook for a little bit. You know, while you're waiting for to see if it stabilizes and hash, you know, take a look at your friendly Mad Bitcoins website. All right, shameless plug for a fellow YouTube Bitcoin station. Now you're probably asking, or some of you at least are probably asking, why would I even want to take this shot at putting two PSUs in a rig? Well, for the folks really trying for six cards in a single rig, and mind you, you probably don't see a lot of those. See a lot of YouTube videos out there that have no more than five well, there's usually a reason most of that's centered on two factors one do i have enough power for it and two do i have a board that'll actually support it and not give me a ton of hell and in closing for this piece and at least this episode i want to make sure that one thing's clear that i haven't covered it's not always about the power the wattage on that power supply it's also the 12 volt rels that connect to your graphics card 
just mine the manufacturer specs on the graphics card that you're choosing and make sure that whatever power supply you're choosing, especially for the second one, supports the rail requirement. Now in closing, I wanna go ahead and bring up that next episode that we're looking at. We picked up a couple of these R9 280X Sapphire Vapor X's. Had a few suggestions, people asking, hey, I've gotten some slow configs on this. We're gonna dive into a couple of those. Then I'll probably take a day break because my Oculus Rift showed up and I really want to get to coding some stuff for it. Uh, We'll take a few days off for that and then we're going to come right back with some new hardware for you guys. Thanks for hanging in there. Go ahead and share, tweet us. You guys are awesome. Thanks again for your comments and if you got any questions, put them below. We'll get them answered for you. Tripping.